Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Madam Fazlin binti Abu Bakar. Okay, today we will learn chapter 6 polynomials. In this chapter, we have three subtopics. The subtopic 6.1 is polynomials. 6.2 is about remainder theorem, factor theorem and zeros of polynomials. And 6.3 is partial fractions. Let's look the first subtopic 6.1 which is about polynomials. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A perform the addition, subtraction and multiplication of polynomials, B perform division of polynomials. Subtopic 6.1 polynomials. The word polynomials is derived from two Greek words. Poly means many and nomial means terms or names. So, it says many terms. Definition of polynomials. A polynomial in a finite sum of terms in which all the variables have whole number exponents and no variable appears in denominator. A polynomial Px of degree n is defined as Px is equal to an times x to the power of n plus an minus 1 times x to the power of n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a1 times x plus a0 which is a n does not equal to 0. n is the element of positive integer and a0, a1, a2 until a n are called the coefficient of the polynomial. The coefficient of the highest power of x which is a n is the leading coefficient. Okay, in this case, a n, we call it as leading coefficient. The constant terms is a naught. Okay, a naught is constant terms. The degree of polynomials is determined by the highest power of x. Let's see the example. The table below shows the degree, leading coefficient, constant terms, and the name of polynomial. Complete the table. Okay, number one, we are given Px is equal to negative 7. Okay, this one we call it as constant. So, the degree is 0 because there are no highest power of x. The leading coefficient also 0, constant terms, refer to negative 7 itself. Question number 2, we are given Px equal to 5x minus 6. So, the highest degree of x here is 1. So, the degree is 1. Leading coefficient, refer to the coefficient of highest degree of x. Okay, so, the leading coefficient for this example is 5. Constant terms is negative 6. We call this equation as linear equation. Okay, number 3, we are given Px equal to 7x square plus x. So, here we have the highest degree is 2. Okay, so the degree is 2. The leading coefficient of the highest degree is 7. And the constant terms, there are no constant term here. So, the constant term here is Zero. We call this equation as quadratic since the, the highest degree is 2. Okay, number 4, we are given Pi is equal to 2x power 3 minus square root of 7 times x square plus x plus 3. This is x power 3. For x power 3, we call it x cubic. So, if we compare, we know 
if we look here we know that the highest degree of x is 3 so the degree should be 3 leading coefficient is number 2 okay and the constant term is 3 here are some examples of non polynomial expression okay x to the power of 1 over 3 plus 4x is non polynomial 5 over x plus 3 times x to the power of negative 1 also non polynomial the square root of x square plus 3x plus 3 okay this is also non polynomial and also the expression that contains the non positive power of x non positive power of x is x power negative 3 for example okay this one we call it as non polynomial expression the algebraic operation on polynomials Algebraic operations can be performed on polynomials such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The operation follows the commutative, associative, and distributive laws of numbers. Addition and subtraction The addition and subtraction of the polynomial Px and Qx can be performed by collecting like terms. For example, we are given the polynomial of Px and Qx. Okay, we want to determine Px plus Qx. Okay, firstly, we will substitute the given polynomial of Px. Okay, plus qx so substitute the polynomial of px which is x power 4 plus x power 3 plus 3x square plus 4x okay remember the addition we can perform by collecting like terms like term means the terms which have the same variable raised to the same power. For example, okay, here we have x to the power of 4. Okay, we also have here x to the power of 4. So, this one we call like terms. Okay, so just, I just rewrite. For the terms of x to the power of 4, we have to x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 4 okay x power 3 okay we have here negative 5 x power 3 and here we also have positive x power 3 so for the like term of x power 3 it will be okay negative 5 x power 3 plus x power 3 okay next identify the terms with uh, x power 2 okay we only have 1 x power 2 so 3x square and the terms of x power 1 also we only have one term so plus 4x and the constant we have here negative 4 so minus 4 so from here simplify 2x power 4 plus x power 4, we will have here 3x power 4. Okay, and then negative 5 plus 1x power 3. Here is negative 4x power 3. And plus 3x square plus 4x minus 4. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, question B, we want to find Px minus Qx. Okay, substitute the given polynomial. Okay, minus 
minus so minus qx so must be substitute qx and qx must be in bracket so the given polynomial of px is x power 4 plus x power 3 plus 3x square plus 4x okay so here we need to multiply negative into the bracket okay you have here to x power 4 we write on uh, the polynomial of px minus 5x power 3 minus 4 okay here negative times x power 4 is negative x power 4 negative positive is negative x power 3 negative positive negative 3x square minus 4x okay from here we will arrange the like terms okay for x power 4 we have here to x power 4 this is also the like term of x power 4 so it will be just arranged by the group so here is to x power 4 minus x power 4 for x power 3 we have negative 5 x power 3 here is negative x power 3 so we write back and then we have negative 3x square minus 4x minus 4 and from here we can simplify to find the final answer 2x power 4 minus x power 4 is x power 4 okay here we have negative 6x power 3 minus 3x square minus 4x minus 4 Next, we move to multiplication of polynomial. Note that every term in one polynomial is multiplied by each term in the other polynomial. Okay, let's see the example. We are given the polynomial of Px and polynomial of Qx. A, we want to find 4 times Qx. So, from here, we just substitute. Okay, 4 times polynomial of Qx, which is 2x power 3 minus x square plus 1 okay here we need to expand okay 4 times 2 is 8x power 3 minus 4x square plus 4 b we want to find px times qx so substitute the given polynomial of px okay which is x square minus x minus 1 polynomial of qx is 2x power 3 minus x square plus 1. Okay, this one we need to expand. x square times 2x power 3 is 2x power 5. x square times negative x square, negative x power 4. x square times 1. We have here plus x square okay next negative x times 2x power 3 we have a negative 2x power 4 okay negative x times negative x square is positive x power 3 negative x times 1 negative x and the last one, negative 1 times 2x power 3 is negative 2x power 3. Okay, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive x square. And the last one is minus 1. Okay, let's simplify by collecting like terms. So, for x power 5, we have here to x power 5. For x power 4, we have here negative x power 4. And here is negative to x power 4 so the answer is negative 3x power 4 x power 3 we have here x power 3 and negative 2x power 3 so the answer here is negative x power 3 x square so we have here x square plus x square is 2x square and 
minus 1. Okay, one more we have here negative x so minus x. So this is our final answer. Okay, we have a note here. If PS is a polynomial of degree M and QS is a polynomial of degree N, then product PX times QX is a polynomial of degree M plus N. Okay, for example here, we have uh, the degree of PX is power 2 and the degree of polynomial QX is power 3. So the product PX times QX should be degree of 2 plus degree of 3. And we have here the degree is 5. Okay, this is, okay, here if we check, the answer is degree of 5 or the product of PX times QX. Thank you.